Hi there, friends. Fantastic show today. Really easy potato and eggs. Eggs and potatoes. <laughs> However you want to call it. It's delicious. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. Remember, folks, we need a new subscriber. We need thumbs up. A lot of thumbs up, please. And don't forget to ring the bell. You get a notification every time we put a video. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make this fantastic breakfast. Well, let me show you how easy it is to prepare this fabulous little breakfast. The secret, though, friends, mise en place. You gotta have everything ready. So that takes a little bit of while to do it. Uh, you gotta chop and dice potatoes nice and small. They, if they're not small, they're gonna take forever to cook. You may have to pot cook them. Uh, bell peppers, I got two colors. Um, I got some uh, smoked sausage. I, I did sus uh, a chicken sausage because somebody here can't eat beef. So I got him uh, some uh, uh, chicken sausage. Uh, already cook, uh, corbasa. You can cook whatever you want. You, so, as long as it's already smoked, so you don't need to worry about cooking the sausage, right? Uh, we're going to do three eggs. You'll see how I'm going to do them. Uh, garlic, a little bit of garlic because it's morning, eh? Not too much garlic in the morning. A little bit of parsley and onion. Okay, and we're going to do regular butter. Gonna give me an opportunity to talk a little bit about um, how much butter, well, how much butter, <laughs> that's another subject. Uh, what kind of butter do we use? When do we use clarify? When do we use regular butter? Butter burns. That's all there is to it. Uh, you know, as soon as milk protein get hot, as soon as milk protein get hot, the butter burns, so you have to be careful. So when you own it, meaning like you're right here, you're not, um, you're not pen searing a steak where it's going to burn. You're right there doing potatoes. You're doing onion. You can mix them. You can keep an eye on it so it doesn't get too hot. It doesn't burn. Then you can use regular butter. But if you have clarified butter, by all means, doing it. Okay, remember, do I have to say it? Yes, I'm going to say it. Onion is always number first. Always number one on the onion. Be very careful with that. Okay, I don't care what it is you're cooking, friends. If you don't take the time to caramelize the onion, they're not going to be sweet. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to repeat it again because my regulars are going to say, oh, mamma mia. Well, some of you may say mamma mia, but most of you are not going to say that. So we're going to wait for the onion to caramelize the potatoes. Remember, I did a, um, I did a home fries uh, with steak the other day, and, uh, which was a very successful video, by the way. And uh, you guys liked it. It's wonderful, which gave me an opportunity to, hey, let's do some more breakfast. The egg benedicts also were a great success, right? So if you cut them too big, they take forever to cook. And there's nothing wrong with that. You just got to put a cover on it. And then they cook. A softly heat, they cook. And it's fine. Otherwise, you parboil them. But when they're small like this, there's no, no reason to pre-cook -cook, to pre them. Okay, they're going to cook in no time at all. But everything is the same size. You see, I like to take the time to make things the same size. I, 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 I've been promising you, but I am going to do it, a video on how to cut everything correctly. So we're going to do a video. I don't think I can do a video on everything, but every so often we'll do a video on how to chop and dice things correctly. So not to make the video on too long, my friends. We're going to wait for a second for the onion to be caramelized before I put the potatoes. Because the potatoes, no matter how much I dry them, they're still wet. If I put them on top of the onion right now, they'll never caramelize. So we're going to wait a few seconds. You could also add bacon to this recipe if you wanted to. If you wanted to, you could add bacon. You potatoes, you do whatever you want. So I'm going to wait a second for the onion to get golden brown, and then I'll add the potato, I'll add all the rest, and then we'll get going. We're just going to cut and come back to it so it's not too long, okay? All right, friends. As you can see, the, uh, the onion is starting to caramelize enough for me to put the, um, uh, uh, put the bell peppers first. It doesn't really matter. We're going to put it all in the same time, my friends. Because everything is going to cook at the same time. Okay? Everything is going to cook at the same time. The potatoes are going to cook at the same amount of time than the, um, than the peppers are going to cook. We're just going to mix them really good. And now we're going to put our potatoes... And then we're going to put the eggs in, and we'll show you a cool way to do it. Uh, you know what I forget? Salt and pepper. Don't let me forget. <laughs> Don't let me forget like you're right here. You know, I feel like you're right here. You people say you're cutting us friends. I really feel like you guys are here, because you know my whole life, I cooked in front of an audience. In my cooking school, every night, we were full of people. Every night, they were right there. So I feel like you're right there with me. 
And for those of you that came to my class, you know what I'm talking about. We had a ball, let me tell you, every night, folks. Sold that class every night for years and years and years and years. We had the school for like almost 22 years. And every night for 22 years, we were there doing amazing classes. So salt and pepper. So when I talk to you, I feel like I'm talking to them. All right. You're like, my student, except now instead of having 30, 40 every night, we got 400,000. God bless America. All right, look, look. Potatoes. Now, the secret here, my friends, is very simple. When you cook potatoes, everybody's always wondering, why don't you buy cucumbers? Oh, mamma mia. I almost forgot to put the garlic. Chopped garlic. Put as much or as little as you want. Like I said, it's the morning. You don't want to be too garlicky when you get to the office, okay? Oh, when you have a breakfast this morning? <laughs> so yeah, be careful, okay? It's kind of like a Saturday or Sunday breakfast, right? What do you think? Right? So look. Mix it up really good. Did I put salt in there yet? I'm not sure. <laughs> I hope I didn't do it before because nice double salt. So look, now we're gonna put the sausage in here. Remember they cooked already, so it is gonna get warm. All right, you can skip the sausage and you can start with the bacon and you'll be perfectly fine. It's looking good so far. What do you think? Right? I like it. I like it. I like it. So now the potatoes are raw, right? But they're so small. So what's the secret? This is the secret, my friend. The first seven, eight minutes. This is a big pan, so it's gonna take about at least seven, eight minutes. Low heat, not too high of a heat, put the cover on. It's gonna keep the moisture in, it's gonna cook the potatoes, and the last minute or two or three at the end, we saute them and crisp them. Okay, we don't want them too crisp, but we want them crisper than whatever. Right now we're just cooking them, all right? So I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit, so it's not so hot, and, um, and then when we come back, we're gonna finish them up. And I'm going to show you how to break the egg right in it. All right? So we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, friends. It's been about uh, seven, eight minutes. Depends. Like I said, depends the size of your potatoes. You just test them to make sure they're okay. Right? You take the cover off because you don't need the cover anymore at this point. At this point, you're gonna, you just want to brown your potato a little bit. I just want them to be cooked. Okay? You get it a little bit golden brown, you're good. It's up to you how much, you, how much browning you want to brown them. If you want them brown them a lot, like some people like really brown potatoes, uh, then you take the cover off after a minute or two. You don't leave it like six, seven minutes to cook it, right? So now, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna break the egg. We're gonna break the egg. So what we do, we make a little hole in there like this. I got those really cool ring that I'm gonna use to make it a little fancy. But what I like to do, I like to spray them with a little nasty spray before. It's not necessary to put the, to have the ring to begin with. Anyway, you can do it without the ring, okay? But, you know, I like to do things a little fancy. So we put a ring right there. We put a little hole in there. Hey, you get out of here, you. You put the, 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 a little hole in there like this. You put your ring in there, right? It's okay if it's a, if it's a little thing underneath. And if, like I said, if you don't have the ring, don't worry. It'll still be perfect, right? And it'll still be perfect. Then now what we want to do, friends, we want to reduce the heat because we don't want it to be too hot. And remember, you know, I forgot to put a little bit of pasta in there. We want to put a pasta in. We can put a... Because after this, you can't mix it no more because you got the eggs in there. So you better put your pasta in now. All right? And uh, put a little more salt and pepper in there, just a little bit. So we have it because after this, well, we're going to put salt and pepper Directly here. Now we're going to take, see what I do, friends. Lower the heat. I take my eggs and I break them in a the glass so I can just go right there and put them in. You see? So it's easier than, it's easier to do this than to try to break the egg in the pan. Okay? It's just a little easier, my friends. Lower the heat. If your burner is too hot, you go to a lower, a lower heat, which is what I got right there. And... Now you put the cover on it like this, okay? And you leave it until your eggs are cooked about three or four minutes. Really simple. So we'll be back in about three, four minutes, and the dish is ready. So that was a quick one. We'll be right back. Okay, friends, now we're going to take the covers, those little rings off. Those were just there to make a look, to make a look cool. That's all. You don't have to have the ring, friends. They'll be perfectly fine without the rings, okay? But if you got them... Because you're an animal like me, then you're good. 
except this guy don't want to come out. There's always a sticker one. <laughs> Hold on. And now I got people who said, I'm not using the ring. That, that doesn't happen to me. Here you go, right here. That's it. We're done. So it looks kind of cool. So now all we got to do, friends, at this point, is decorate it, make it look pretty, with a leaf of parsley on top of all of them. And you got yourself a beautiful little breakfast that has a little class in there, my friends. All right? And that's it. And that's all you need to do right there. You got yourself a beautiful little breakfast. Then we can serve. We can put a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, a parsley on top of each one of those eggs, and we are down. We got ourselves a really nice, classy uh, breakfast right here, friends. And not difficult to pre to prepare. Really easy to do on the stove. Takes a little while to prepare, but that's it. That's all we need. All right, friends. Let's eat. Let's eat. So we'll put a little bit of potatoes. Oh, that's hot. Little potato in the bottom of the plate. Right? However you want to serve it, folks. It's going to be delicious, no matter how you serve it. And then you take a little bit of the, the eggs right there. Take yourself an egg. Look, see right there? Look, beautiful. This is an easy breakfast, friends. Delicious. I got enough potatoes. <laughs> That's it right there, friends. All you got to do now is cut that eggs. Oh, you know what? Always need a knife. It's... You don't really need a knife, really. I could certainly eat it with just a fork. I don't need a knife. Right there, we're going to cut it out. And the egg is cooked perfect for me. I don't like it too runny. If you like it more, less runny, you leave it in there a little bit longer. I like it just perfect. Look at look how perfectly cooked that is. For me, it's perfect. Some people like it more runny. Look at it. You look. Ah. Mmm. 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 The potatoes. Mmm. This is an easy breakfast as long as you got everything chopped and diced the night before. Highly recommend them. Great breakfast Saturday morning, Sunday morning. I hope you make it. I hope you enjoy the segment. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to ring the bell. We'll see you next week for another fantastic show.